Let's do another unboxing. There's a box and a bag. Let's open the box. I love the fun stickers. I was able to peel off the last one because it's someone I've ordered from before. I was able to get the sticker off, so I'm keeping it. Let's get to opening. I get to use my new um, space holder. Got a nice little gold bracelet right there. It's a really nice little gold bracelet. I picked it out because I thought it would fit me. And it does. Don't think I had planned on reselling this piece, but if I did, I would think that this goes for at least $10. It's a nice little glass bead bracelet, which I would think would go probably for about 5 to $10. And another nice, I think it's glass bead, bra black bead bracelet, which would also go um, probably about for $5. Look how nice that looks on that thing. Very nice. Got this very lovely orange fall bracelet. Um, these are some kind of stone, I think. I think maybe this was some kind of stone as well. I don't know. It doesn't feel like plastic. This definitely feels like glass. But these feel like stone. It has a little bit of damage here, but I was made aware of that by the seller when purchasing. And I think it looks nice on my wrist, so I might keep it. If not, I would of course also um, disclose the damage on the piece. This one doesn't really look that great on there, um, but would imagine that it would sell in the $10 range. This was such a cool piece, y'all. It reminded me of an eye. Let me show you on my mannequin. I gotta come up with a name for my mannequin. It's not really a mannequin. A mechican? I don't know what that means. I don't know what these are called. But that is very, very pretty. I think I need a taller one too. That's already doubled up. I think I'll probably keep this piece for myself. Like for Halloween or something, maybe. But otherwise, I would think that this piece would go... Um, maybe in the $25 range or higher, depending. I purchased this lovely necklace. A very, very pretty faux pearl beads with all these little charms. Very, very nice. And it comes down to a rose. And then it has all the little, um, what are those things called? Rhinestones on it. Very, very pretty place up necklace. I don't think I would keep this. I really do love it, but it's just not really my style. It's really, really big and bulky. Um, I'd probably try it on, but it's probably something I would sell. So this item, I would definitely probably sell in the $25 range because of the size and the statement piece of it all. Okay, so this piece, I was told that it's kind of gross or sticky in the auction. Um, so just, I'm going to keep that in mind as I'm opening it. I think it has to do a lot with like, um, the, the links in the back here, just being with, um, tarnish and how so it kind of has to be. But look at that. Isn't that so pretty? It definitely needs a little bit of a cleaning here. It definitely smells like, um, jewelry that might need a cleaning. What a really neat piece like this right here. Is just a little bit sticky. Probably could use um, some cleaner of some kind. It's not going to be that color again or the gold color again unless I um, spray paint it or if there's some kind of repair to get, you know, like gold back on jewelry. The only thing I can think of is spray paint. But let's take a look at it. Look at that. That color is gorgeous. Gorgeous. 
I did pay five dollars for this piece. Um, I think it's totally worth it. It is so pretty. Um, I would expect once the repair and the cleaning is done to get at least 30 plus for that item. So thank you so much for watching and um, hope you have a great night. And if you like it, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to subscribe, please do. Bye.